In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add an evergreen countdown timer to your Shopify store. We'll be using a completely free app to do so, so it's not going to cost you anything. The app we're going to use is called Urgency Bear Countdown. It is completely free and it does have decent review scores. It can let you add countdown timers either by using a timer or you can use a stock countdown as well, similar to what Amazon does when they say there are only a few items left in stock. And so I'll leave a link in the description for this app. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching Urgency Bear and you're just going to hit add app here. And then we'll go through the installation and setup sequence together. I'm gonna click add app and it's gonna bring me to the installation sequence page. If you're comfortable with the permissions, you wanna click install app. And then from there, we should be on the setup page. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just enable it and then we'll go in and customize the appearance. So to enable it, you wanna click this green button for enable. Then it should just be enabled like that. And next, let's go and select our theme. So I don't want one of these pre-built themes here. I don't like the express. This is, looks very Amazon. I can see a Best Buy logo. And so for the settings, we're gonna get the countdown timer, we can have the show. So you can either hide it or show the countdown for sales. And you're also gonna get different options on the text. So I can say hurry sales in, I could leave maybe a dot dot dot. As for the text color, you can change it to whatever color you like. We can change the text size. And this is gonna be the font of the hurry sales in. I'm actually gonna capitalize that as there is the beginning of a new sentence. And we're gonna apply the countdown timer per customer session. So this is gonna be an evergreen timer that's gonna show for customers who reach my store. So for each customer, I'm just gonna put 11 hours and I'm gonna give it a random time here of 42 minutes. So each customer that shows up who is a new customer, it's gonna say hurry sales ends in the allotted time here. What's nice about these evergreen timers is that you don't have to constantly reset it to a specific end date. Next, we can change the background color. I can just actually remove it if I put white here, but I'd have to change the digits, the black here, just so it appears on my white background. I can also change the countdown style so I can get these to roll over like a clock. I can see two separate ones. I can compress them together or compress them compart. I like this third style here. I think that looks like a digital clock. For the font, I'll leave it as overpass the alignment, I'll leave it as the center. And so when the timer reaches zero, I'm just gonna hide the countdown. This way, if a customer does decide to come back to my site after 11 hours, they're just not gonna see it. So that's our evergreen countdown timer. There is the ability to also show the inventory countdown. So you can hide it by just disabling it. But if you leave it in, you can change the text, store stock, so I can just change the count. The total stock, I can show the stock per variant. I can hide on large stock items if it's larger than 10 units. I can change the color, the font, and the counter style. So again, quite a few settings similar to our evergreen timer. For advanced settings, I can set this timer and countdown timer to show up on specific products, specific collections, and I can also set it to show on either desktop or mobile or both. And I'm gonna leave it for all my product pages and I'm gonna show it on both desktop and mobile. Now to note, if you have quite a few products available in your store and you have the countdown timer available on everything, even if there is no sale, that can look a little suspicious to a customer. So make sure you're choosing this wisely. Next, we get settings on the countdown placement. So if you wanna customize exactly where it's laid out, you can copy and paste this and add it in the template file. But I'm just gonna save in the bottom right here and I'm gonna go preview this to make sure I like how it looks. If it doesn't look good, I'll go back and change it. So I'm gonna click see it on my live store at the top here, and it's gonna open up my Shopify store. From there, I'm gonna click on this product called Outdoor Camping Bag. I don't see the countdown timer, so let's go and debug this. So thankfully, they seem to have a really good guide here. So we're gonna copy these steps. So what we wanna do is copy this piece of text here. We wanna go open up our Shopify theme. And does it actually say to uncheck that? I'll hit save to save those settings. And then we're gonna go add it in on our product page using a custom HTML liquid section. So what I'm gonna do is on the left-hand side, I'm gonna open up online store. This is gonna open up my themes. And I am using the current version of the Dawn theme at 10.0.0 which may be causing the issue. So I hit customize, opening up my Shopify theme. Now from the top hand section, you wanna click the drop down menu, go to products, and I'm gonna click on the default product here. Now looking at this, I probably want the countdown timer to show up under my buy now button. So under buy now, I'm gonna click add block. I'm gonna click custom liquid, and then I'm gonna paste this code in here, and I'm gonna hit save. Now as I can see, there is my countdown timer bar, and it's gonna say hurry, the sale ends in. Now, most likely I would wanna make some customization on how that looks, as I'm not a huge fan of how I styled it. I'd probably add a background. That's just my own personal preference. You can style this exactly how you like. Again, to add this to your product page, you wanna hover below the section you wanna add, 
or if you go to the left hand side you can click add block and you want to add a custom liquid block go to the right hand side and you want to paste in this custom html and once you're happy with the location you can hit save and this should automatically update on your theme if you've made any sales in your shopify store you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit and that's where our sponsor profit calc comes in it's the one click profit calculator available for your shopify store all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can find out how much your store is actually making and it's going to give you a ton of different details and analytics so you can truly understand your store and make smarter business decisions. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and many cost of goods sold options. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below and from there you can get access to a 15 day free trial. You can test drive everything for yourself. So this is going to conclude the video here on how to add an evergreen timer to your Shopify store. I hope this tutorial helped using a completely free app as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm currently coming out with tons of videos on Shopify tutorials all the time and I'd love your support and it would really mean a lot. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.